Having a dog with epilepsy can be a really scary, upsetting thing, especially when you're watching your dog having a seizure. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you nine facts about epilepsy in dog that I believe every owner should know, and hopefully they'll just put your mind at ease that your dog will be able to live with this condition and will live a healthy, happy life. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Alex from OurPetsHealth.com, helping you and your dog to live a healthier, happier life. So if that's something you're interested in, then consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification down below. So my first fact about epilepsy is that what we call idiopathic epilepsy or true epilepsy is a condition in dogs that we don't actually understand why it happens in the first place. So we don't know the underlying cause, but what the epilepsy results in is abnormal electrical activity within the brain. And it is this electrical activity which results in the seizures that we see in our pets. So despite not knowing the underlying cause, the second fact is that in some cases, it does appear to be genetic. So certain breeds do seem to be more prone to developing epilepsy and certain lines as well within breeds appear to be developing epilepsy. So this is definitely something to consider if you're looking at getting a dog whose parents have had epilepsy, or if you've got a young dog with epilepsy and you are wondering about whether to breed from them. The, certainly the suggestion would be that that might not be the best idea because their offspring, their puppies, may be more likely to also have epilepsy in the future. Fact number three is that epilepsy in dogs develops between about six months of age and about five years of age. So that is when we typically see dogs who are gonna de develop epilepsy have their first seizure. If we've got a dog who's very much younger than that, or if we've got an older dog who is having seizures, then the chances are that it's not truly epilepsy and they're fitting and having seizures for another reason. Fact number four is that the treatment that we give our pets to reduce their seizures is doing just that. Its aim is to reduce the frequency and reduce the severity of their seizures. It's not designed to completely eliminate them entirely. And there are a number of reasons for this. The main one being that if we give really high doses that are needed to completely stop seizures, then that will increase the risk of side effects and potentially quite serious side effects in our dogs. Um, that's not to say that a dog on treatment will have seizures. A small proportion will actually be seizure free once they're taking that medication. But just because your dog is on treatment doesn't mean they won't be having seizures. And if they are having the odd seizure, then that doesn't mean the treatment's not working. Now, those seizures should not be at a really high frequency and they shouldn't be too severe. So if your dog is epileptic and is having really frequent fits, or if those fits are lasting a long time, they're taking a long time to recover from, then definitely a change in treatment plan may be appropriate. But the actual presence of seizures in a dog with epilepsy who's being treated isn't necessarily anything to worry about. So step number five is that the drugs that we give to treat epilepsy in the early stages when we're starting treatment can take some time to start working. So that's something to bear in mind. And obviously your vet will discuss that with you. There are different options that we have for epileptic treatment. They work in different ways and they come at different costs. And your vet will discuss with you the most likely best option for your dog. And that will be based on how bad the fits that they've started to have are and how frequently they're having them. And then at number six is that depending on the drug that's being given, very often at the start of treatment, the incidence of mild side effects is quite common. So that can be an increase in thirst, um, drinking more or urinating more. It can also be a real increase in appetite. So they just seem hungry all the time. They can become ataxic, so kind of quite wobbly on their legs as though they've had a bit too much to drink. Um, and they can also sometimes be a bit sedated. In the vast majority of cases, these side effects actually wear off pretty quickly once your dog's body becomes used to having the drug in the system. If high doses of drugs are needed to control the epilepsy, then the risk of side effects does become a little bit higher. Certainly some drugs can affect liver function and can cause damage to the liver. Um, and it's for this reason that we'll rec often recommend blood testing to check that everything's going on as we would expect without any adverse effects. As drug dose needs to increase, it may also be that a treatment 
plan needs to be changed. So additional drugs may need to be given or one drug stopped and another one started. Okay, so my seventh fact about epilepsy in dogs is that seizures are actually only an emergency if they're lasting for more than about five minutes or if your dog is having several seizures in a row and they're not really recovering properly in between those seizures. So those are definitely emergency situations. We would term that um, status epilepticus, which is basically the, the electrical activity in the brain has got to such an extent that it will potentially start to cause some damage. But a short fit, the vast majority last maybe between 30 to 60 seconds, maybe up to a couple of minutes. And that seems like an awful long time when you're there watching your dog. It can be very upsetting, but if the seizure is only lasting that short length of time, then it's not a true emergency. Now, if you're wondering how you can help your dog when they're having a seizure, I've actually done a separate video about that that I'll link up here and down in the description as well. So my eighth fact is the fact that stopping or missing a dose of medication or several doses of medication can actually precipitate seizures in your dog. So if you miss a dose, if you decide that your dog hasn't had seizures in a while and you're gonna try stopping the medication, then that can actually cause fits. So that's definitely not something to be recommended unless your vets discuss that with you and you're going through a specific plan to reduce their dose to see if they can be weaned off that drug. But in general, once an epileptic dog is deemed to need medication to control their seizures, then that's something that they'll need to be given for their life. And stopping by yourself or missing doses is definitely not a great idea. And then my last fact about epilepsy in dogs is the fact that when surveyed, the vast majority of owners consider that their dog still has an excellent quality of life. And this is really important. So very often when epilepsy is diagnosed, we become anxious and worried about what their quality of life and what their lifespan is. But for, for owners that have living with an epileptic dog, then they generally consider their dog to have an excellent quality of life. Now that's not to say the owner themselves is not without worry, and there certainly is worry about how seizures will affect their dog, about medication and about side effects and that kind of thing. But when it comes to actually the well-being and the welfare of their pet, then they consider that their dog has an excellent quality of life. And that's fantastic. And that's certainly something that we would expect to see. So apart from epilepsy, if that's the only problem that your dog has, then in between seizures, they should generally live a completely normal, healthy life. So those are my nine facts about epilepsy in dogs. I hope you found them useful. I hope you found them interesting. And maybe especially that last one gave you some encouragement that your dog can still be happy and healthy despite being epileptic. Now, I've got that video, like I mentioned, all about how you can help your dog when they actually have a seizure. And that's definitely something that's worth checking out for any owner of an epileptic dog. Um, I've also got a separate owner about some of the causes of seizures. So epilepsy is just one cause of seizures. And in my other video that I'll link up here and down in the description, I talk about the other major causes of seizures in dogs. So. I hope that's interesting. If you've got any questions, if there's anything you're not sure about, then please just leave me a comment down below. Remember to subscribe, share this with any friends that you know with epileptic animals. And until next time, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, because they're family.